What's up? This is Ryan Brown with Legit Media Editing, and I'm going to show you how to make crumbling text in Cinema 4D by using the plugin called Throwsy. You're going to want to start off by clicking on MoGraph, going down to Text Object, type in whatever the fuck you want, LME, Legit me, fucking A. LME, Legit Media Editing, there we go. Put the depth on 100, click whatever font you want. I like to use Reboard. Uh, my partner in crime, Boogie, likes to use Arial Black, I know. It's whatever you prefer. Now you're going to want to pick out your uh, material before you make it crumble because then, otherwise, you won't be able to edit your text at all. So make sure you have everything right before you fucking make it into Throwsy, crumbling text, whatever. I don't give a fuck right now. I'm just so goddamn frustrated. There we go. When you click and drag, this will be the inside color, the first material you drag on. And when you drag on a second material, we'll be able to click and drag. There we go. Bam. Render that out, see what she looks like. Pretty shitty. I'm going to go into here. I want purple. This is the way I roll. Um, all right. Now go to plugins, Throwsy 1.22. Click on Throwsy. By default, it will give you two pieces that it breaks up into. Now, you're probably going to want to uh, add some more pieces. I like personally to use 15. You can use whatever you want. It's up to you. Break now, and it will break it for you so that way you don't have to go through with friends in certain situations. Once this bitch breaks up, all right, there we go. So it breaks each letter into its own little file, whatever you want to call it. So bring out null object, click and drag these into that. So that way it's all one thing. Minimize that so that way we don't have to look at that shit. And if you play it, it will just crumble and free fall. You don't want that, okay? Well, you might, but... God knows I don't. So you're going to want to add a floor by going to light, going down to floor. Then you're going to want to do MoGraph, tags, rigid body. So that way the pieces don't fall through the floor. As you see, it crumbles, falls down. I don't like the way it's falling, so I'm going to go into rigid body and add bounce to it. You can do whatever you want. This is just what I want. Go back. There you go. That's about it. It's not sliding as much, at least. All right. Well, as you see, it breaks as soon as you click play. If you don't want that, if you want to keyframe it, what you're going to want to do is go to frame zero, auto keyframe, click on all three rigid bodies right here, and untick this box where it says unabled. And it will give you a keyframe. Then go to 50, tick it, alright, here we go, you play it, then wait, 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 and that starts to crumble. Now, if we were to go to zero frames right now and render this out, it looks like pure shit, okay? Fuck that. So you're going to want to put a light in there, drag that bad boy up, over, and if you render it out right now, it just has a light, nothing really else, it kind of looks... Yet again, pretty shitty. So you're going to want to go down to Shadow. Down here, in the light file, it, see how it says None? Go down to Shadow Maps, Soft. And now if you render it out, it will give you a nice shadow, realistic looking. Um, go down to Shadow, take the density down. I like to take mine down a lot, actually. 29, see how that looks. That's alright, I don't really care. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you just play it through. And it crumbles. Crumbling text using the plugin Throwsy in Cinema 4D. This is Ryan Broughton with Legit Media Editing. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.